Making your first program, sprinkle in some nouns. Those nouns are known as variables. Let's break them down. Like a label maker keeping info organized. Data can't go into containers without a type. First on the list, let's get into these ints. Ints hold whole numbers or their negative twin. Floating point numbers, better known as floats. Floating point is just a fancy term for decimals. Character or char, that's a single letter. I bet they call strings strings cause they string chars together. And then we have the boolean, better known as bool. Bool store the values, false or true. We got ints, floats, char strings, bools. These are just a few of the types that you use. We got ints, floats, char strings, bools. These are just a few of the types that you'll use. To make a variable, first declare the type, followed by its name to the right. Make sure that the name isn't senseless. It's a good idea to practice practical naming conventions. After the name goes assignment operator, on the right side of the operator, place the data. Bam, you conjured up a variable. Without variables, coding would be terrible. We got ints, floats, char strings, bulls. These are just a few of the types that you use. Ints, floats, char strings, bulls. Without variables, your code would confuse. Let's say we need a program for grades. We use strings for the student names. We use chars for the letter grades. And use floats for the GPA. Now let's say we're programming a game. Use ints for the number of saves. Use floats for the health display. And use bulls for the yay or nay. We got ints, floats, char strings, bulls. These are just a few of the types that you use. Ints, floats, char strings, bulls. These are just a few of your programming tools.